The needs of parents and businesses are being pitted against the safety of children and red tape in Fairfax County. Now at the center of all of this regulations regarding how child care providers do business. ABC 7 Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg joins us now and Jeff this really puts a lot of people in a tough spot, right? Yeah, it really does, Allison, because on one side you have people that say that keeping daycare facilities small is important to providing the best possible attention for children. But on the other side, you have a lot of people saying that limiting the size of daycare facilities limits the options for parents in an area where the need is great. Like so many child care providers, Yolanda Peralta is in it for one main reason. I love kids. Peralta is licensed to have six children at her in-home facility in Fairfax, but chooses to limit her care to, at most, four at a time. It's good, I think, for the kids, and I feel comfortable for, to care the, for kids yeah. by myself. But Fairfax County is considering a measure to expand the number of children allowed at in-home licensed facilities to comply with new state zoning regulations. The state currently allows for up to 12 children per facility with assistance, but Fairfax County allows for only seven. It is tight right now. County Supervisor Pat Harity is talking about availability of child care for parents in Fairfax. He says if the county does not make this change, many facilities may become unlicensed, forcing them to close and adding to the problem. Right now we've got a shortage of daycare providers. The more that we lose uh, from our licensed fold, the worse we're going to be. The lower the number, the higher the quality. Wynn Busman is with the Infant Toddler Family Daycare, a group circulating a petition encouraging the county to reject the plan to expand. She fears an increase in cases like Tegan Sample, the three-month-old girl who died last year at an overcrowded, unlicensed facility in Prince William County. The more children that there are in an environment, the more chances there are for some type of an accident to occur. There also seems to be some disagreement as to whether or not a daycare shortage actually exists in Fairfax County. Some people saying it definitely does. Others saying that parents need to do a better job of finding all the options out there. Most of these issues, all of these issues, will likely come up for discussion tonight during a meeting here at the Government Center when these proposed daycare changes are up for discussion. Live in Fairfax, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News.